before we get started with the lecture, eighth grade math, algebra one, and geometry, make sure to put these notes on the page I told you to in your composition notebook. The rest of the classes, just add them to your regular notes. So properties of zero, a plus zero and a minus zero equal a. Oops, that's supposed to be a zero here. If I add or subtract zero, I just get back to the original number. Next one is a times zero is equal to zero. Zero over a with a not equaling zero is equal to zero. I'm going to write it equals zero if a is not equal to zero. And the last one is a, well, next to the last one, a over zero is undefined. You are not allowed to divide by zero. That's one of our primary rules. And the last one, I'm going to give it a name. It is called the zero product property. And you will be using this in Algebra 1 and beyond to solve more complicated, well, I won't say complicated, um, equations other than linear equations. You will be using the zero product property. And that states if a times b is equal to zero, then a is equal to zero, or b is equal to zero. An example where you're going to use this in Algebra 1 or beyond is if I have a multiplication problem that is equal to zero, either the first part of the multiplication problem is equal to zero, or the last part of the multiplication problem is equal to zero. And that is how um, you will find out, or you have already seen, we end up, if I multiply these two things together, I get what you're going to learn or have already known, a quadratic. And this is how I end up with my two solutions to those quadratic equations once I have it in this form. So um, these are the five properties for 8th um, grade Algebra 1 and Geometry, make sure you have these written down. In Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 and beyond, this is where I get my multiple solutions from when I start to solve our polynomial equations.